Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be a little bit different kind of video today. I'm probably going to disable comments and likes and dislikes on this video. Just don't even want to deal with any backlash that could come of it. But for those of you who are not aware already, after many months of tedious reflection, I have made the official decision to step away from DOJRP and the media team altogether. Uh, I was in DOJ for over two and a half years, almost three years now. You know, just to make things clear, this video is created with absolutely zero negative intentions towards the community or anyone who's associated with it. Uh, I hopped around a lot within my nearly three years of commitment to them, from being in the FTO department, to tech support, to warrant services, criminal investigations. However, I'm going to provide you guys with an in-depth analysis and reasoning for why I ultimately made the decision that I did. So to start things off, this community has blessed me with countless unimaginable opportunities. I was extremely lucky to receive the opportunity to be involved with the media team as there's approximately a thousand plus, if not maybe closer to 1200 at this point, members in the community. And to be selected as one of the few individuals to represent the community as a whole, it, it, it means a lot. I've been able to collaborate with countless other content creators, Mayhem, Civ RJ, Goose, Meerkat, and many others that were from older times. But I played with hundreds of people, met countless amazing individuals, some I've actually met in real life. You know, we've exchanged phone numbers, we've become really good friends, and those relationships will never be broken. But anyway, by being in the media team, it does come with responsibility and many restrictions. And for one, it's like the constant fear of punishment. You know, oh, I can't show that on video or stream, or, you know, I was not supposed to say that, or am I gonna get in trouble? You know, in fear of being reprimanded and, and whatnot. You know, one of the first things that I do disagree with strongly and firmly is not being able to be a part of any other whitelisted community. Can't record it, can't stream it, can't connect to it. You know, I can understand how this can be viewed as a conflict of interest to some degree, but being hunker down to one single thing and not being able to branch out to new opportunities to further our content creation journey is borderline unrealistic. I mean, it even got to the point where there was discussion about not being allowed to play on any public servers, any private servers with friends outside of the community, uh, or even five, even 5PD when that came out. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, really? But a few months back, there was at least five to six plus media members that parted ways from the community and media team relatively all around the same time, which was kind of interesting. But when they left, it seemed like, oh well, you know, nobody noticed, nobody said anything. It was just their loss, essentially. And, you know, I, I would think, you know, that they would see this as a red flag, you know, oh, there's quite a few people that are leaving, you know, maybe they don't, they're not agreeing with things, um, the way that things are being done. You know, another issue I had was there was a lot of inactive members who essentially overstayed their welcome. Now, any of the content creators I listed earlier, not talking to them, not referring to them in any way, just clear up any confusion now. But there was a list of other media members who streamed, you know, maybe one to two times every two to three months. And there were some that were never seen again, you know, after they were accepted into the media team. So, you know, I've, I've brought this issue up with media staff and administration. It took quite a bit, but they were able to um, kind of resolve it to some degree, but then again, it bounced back. So honestly, at this point, it's just kind of is what it is. Uh, another thing that didn't sit well with me was I felt like there was a lot of broken promises. You know, there were countless policies and forums and rules and stuff that were going to be reevaluated, revisited, um, edited, changed, and it never, never came of it. Uh, I was actually the person who wrote up the LOI media team proposal document to allow media members to change our in-game names to our media name. Uh, I sent that up to head administration, which at least took three plus months to get to get back, you know, back to me, get approval. You know, overall, there's just many things that media staff and administration are very set in their ways about. And when attempting to question them, I always am referred to the same response because that's the way Jordan wants it or that's the way Polecat wants it. And I have respect for the guy. He's created an incredibly successful foundation that has evolved into a massive community, family, and to what it has become today. I just feel like uh, media members were sort of just forgotten about a, a lot of the times. We've had one media team event within my year and a half, almost two years of being in the media team. That was the RC car event that ha had a lot of us in it. You know, Polecat was there, Rich, Ghost, I think Mayhem was there. You know, we were given the impression that it would be sort of a regular occurring monthly thing and unfortunately it never did there have been media members that have brought up the idea and suggestions back into the discord and nothing ever came of it media administration and head administration are fairly absent from the media team discord all all together so to sum everything up I've been offered opportunities within no pixel uh, which is 
probably the most popular community out there when it comes to Twitch. Uh, as well as I'm working on trying out Redline to see what they have to offer. I'm really looking forward to trying these opportunities. There's still rules and order set in place. There's no hour requirements. There isn't mandatory roll call. You're not going to get removed from departments for not filling out forms. You know, their servers aim to create more dynamic storyline RP with custom cars, jobs, buyable houses, apartments, etc. So I feel like these opportunities are going to provide me with a new spark, you know, for diversity. Um, I, I, I need something new, you know. You know, I think YouTube view counts will speak for themselves for the most part. You know, my goal is to lure in true loyal fans who are there to watch me and watch me only, you know, not there just for DOJ. And I can't tell you how many times I've gotten comments where I upload a video of a video that's not DOJ and I get, where's DOJ? Upload DOJ. Play with this person. You know, it's like, it's essentially like a cult following. I mean, I... I I, I hate to say it, but I don't know how else to put it into context. I ultimately got to the point a few months back where I viewed DOJ more as a job rather than a hobby. You know, I've lost my fire, my passion, my, my desire to even hop on the server anymore. I've had no, no desire to, honestly. And I didn't come into this with intentions or anticipation of making it a full-time job or anything like that. You know, there's going to come a point in time where I have to step away from roleplay for good altogether. So why not branch out while I have the opportunity to do so? But I, I think this sums up the moral of the story. You know, I know I'm going to continuously getting questions and comments of where's DOJ? Will you ever join DOJ again? And I'm not sure I will. I can't give an answer to that. But it was a blast while it lasted. It's now in the past. Memories will forever be cherished. You know, the 145 episodes on YouTube. I'm not going to delete them. Nothing like that. It's time to embark on a new chapter. Again, that wraps up the video. I, I hope to see you guys soon. I'm going to be focusing on being more active on Twitch as well. I have many things planned. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.